Welcome back, friends. Today I'd like to talk about fabric, two ways that you could create your own custom printed fabric. Some time ago, I was on a cruise and I was a little bit bored and I wandered into the library and they had an art book section. And I was looking at this art book and in there they talked about some kind of craft paper that was actually fabric and this was it. I wanted to play with this. This was just, I love discovering new tools to work with and I was also in a transition stage. I was looking for a new style to create. I'll show you a little bit more later how I actually use this fabric. But if you know my artwork, here's one here that is fabric that I printed with this very product. It was one of the early ones that I did. But before this even, I was in the process of planning a grant funded show called Art Aquatic. And in that show, I wanted to paint the fish or the turtle or whatever it was. And I wanted the water to be this sort of fabric mosaic pattern. So I was able to take some water that I had painted previously on another painting where it was a large portion of the painting. So I took just that section of the water, put it into Photoshop and printed it to this paper to create different paintings with a fabric mosaic water background. So after Art Aquatic, I was so over painting fish <laughs> and I just wanted to move on to another concept. And I wanted to do figurative work and I started out with these blue bodies. I did two of them and I started out with that because that was something that I had done when I was much, much younger and still in art college. So I wanted to then develop that into something different. So fabric mosaic and instead of it being the background it is now I'm building the body with the fabric mosaic and I'm still creating my own with my inkjet printer. Then I take the concept a little bit further and I decide I'm going to do positive thoughts on fabric. How the idea came to me was I realized I can print anything I want on this fabric so why not words. So I did a test and for some reason I came up with the idea of it being shades of gray. So that's how gray matter was born. So I do about six shades of gray. It's usually about six. Sometimes it's seven. <laughs> Depends on the, on the thing that I'm creating. On the hands, it's frequently seven because it's just a little bit more detail in there. I started out printing the fabric myself. And being labor intensive, I decided to look for another solution. I discovered Spoonflower, spoonflower.com. They create a yard of fabric for me. I do the prep work in Photoshop, creating a single document with the six shades of gray. And then they send me this. So, and it's a full yard. I think it's like a 54 inch uh, wide and um, a yard long and it's perfect. I never run out. I always have some left over. So I use the cotton. I think it's called poplin cotton. It has a good body to it and it doesn't fray too easily. Neither does this. This is not fray. I'm very happy with this as well, but at least it's not as labor intensive for me because I was printing a lot of paper. It's not that inexpensive and neither is ink for the inkjet. Let's face it. This is a much more affordable way to go for me in the future. So if you like these kinds of artist tips, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment because I would love to hear what you have to say and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. So let me tell you a little bit more about spoon flower. If you're an artist that designs patterns, so it could be on the computer or in real life and then you can digitize it and do the repeat pattern thing on the computer and they will sell it for you as fabric, wallpaper, and various other products. So you should check it out. I get to buy it at a very inexpensive price and then I create my physical paintings with it. So think about it. If you print designs, simple designs onto fabric and then use that fabric in a physical painting of some kind, 
the possibilities are endless. I just, I love working this way. I've created flamingo and macaw, hands, bodies. I've done, I've used this technique also in abstract paintings. Here's some artwork that I created with just one color. I've created small works of art in just black with white type. Then I've created lips. So this one is all done in shades of red, even hot pink. So of course the work, the kind of work I do is very tedious. I'm cutting it up into little pieces and gluing it on. It's like a little bit of a puzzle. I love the end result. So even though it's painful for me, <laughs> it's very painful to work on this for months at a time before it's finished and not even sure if it's going to even work out right. Um, some of the hands were very, very scary because they didn't look like much until you get much for like two thirds of the way through or sometimes three quarters of the way. Then you start to see that hand coming through. So it's very tedious, but the end result is, is a, a wow. So thank you for stopping by today. I hope that these tips inspire you to create something wonderful with fabric that you designed yourself. How much fun will that be? Oh, you designed the work from start to finish. Don't go to Joann's and buy fabric. Make it yourself. Take care. Bye-bye.